Number 13. Doubling the concentration of a reactant increases the rate of reaction four times. With this knowledge, answer the following questions. And then we have letter A. What is the order of the reaction with respect to that specific reactant? Okay, so we're just going to go with A for now, and then once we finish up with A, we will read B. So, let's write out A over here, and maybe, maybe I'll write it down a little bit lower down here. Okay, so, we are talking about changing reaction rates. And, you know, especially if they're asking for a specific order, right? The only time that you can get a, an order is from a rate law. Now, what is the general rate law formula? Well, that's this right here. Where'd it go? It's right here. <laughs> so a rate law in general is always equal to, well, the rate, the rate of the reaction is equal to a K value times the reactant concentrations raised to their specific orders. And that's what we're trying to solve for. What is the order of the reaction with respect to that specific reactant? Now, let's see. The only thing that they gave us was that if we double the concentration of a reactant, the rate goes up four times, right? So let's just write that down. If we are increasing the reactant by double, this means that you will increase, so it's also going up, is going to increase that rate of reaction by four times. And, and literally, take it as it is. If you say four times, this is four, and times, right, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, times is multiplication. So we're going to increase the rate of reaction four times. So I have a number that I can work with for the rate of reaction side. So I just need a number for the reactant side. Now, the only thing that they told me was that they said that this doubled. What number goes with the word double, right? If you double something, if you start off with one and you double something, you go to two. And if you start off with two and you double the value, you go to four. And if you start off with four and you double the value, you go to eight. All of these, all you did was you times by two, right? One times two is two. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. So whenever you see the word double, always think of the number two. So this would be going up two times. And now we have another number for the reactant side. So now I can kind of use the rate law to see what that order should be. The rate of the reaction, that's this, right? The rate, I'm going to plug in a 4. And the reactant value, I'm going to put in a 2. I just use those values. You could use the change values. And you might be saying to yourself, okay, well, we have a rate, right? That's a 4, equals a K. Oh, what is a K? A K is a rate constant. That's what the, the variable is called. It's a rate constant. Now, it doesn't matter for what reaction it is. All reactions will have their own unique rate constant. But since it's constant and it doesn't change uh, throughout a reaction, we don't really care about the K value. Because even if I change my reactants, the K value is going to stay the same. So... Things that are not changing, they go bye-bye. So for this type of idea where we're just comparing reactants with the rate, you don't have to worry about the K. So my rate equals 4, equals get rid of the K, and the concentration of the reactant, the reactant said that it's, it doubled, so I'm going to put a 2 there. And now I just need to find out what that order is. It's always raised to the orders. So x. So now I say to myself, okay, 2 times 2, right? How many times do I have to times 2 to get to 4? Well, 2 times, right? 2 times 2 is 4. And how many 2s did you have? 
you had two of them. So we know that in this case, the x equals, oh boy, x equals 2. And for letter A, that's the order. The exponent is a 2. So for letter A, what is the order of the reaction with respect to that specific reactant? It is the order of 2. Second order, they call it. So whenever you have an order of 2, you call that the second order. Okay. So letter A is done. How easy is that, right? Now we're going to use the same exact idea to see what B is going on. So now let's see. B says tripling the concentration of a different reactant increases the rate of reaction three times. What is the order of that reaction with respect to that reactant? Well, let's see. They did say that as we are tripling, tripling means that we're going up, right? So I'm increasing my reactant. And in this case, the word is tripling. So just like doubling, we should have a number that always is being used when we see the word triple, right? Or tripling. Do we know what that number is? Yeah, you got it. Tripling is three times. So I'm going to use that reactant value for three. And they said that when you're tripling that concentration, it increased the rate of reaction. So up goes my rate of reaction. That's the rate number. Three times. So three times multiply. And once again, they gave me the number. It's the same thing as tripling, right? Tripling three times tomato, tomato. So we know that we're going to use the rate of three. So I got my rate number, I got my reactant number, I don't care about K, let's find that order. So, I will guess I'll do it over here, or actually, actually if I can, I'll just bring this a little bit over there, and then, let's see, the rate was 3 equals, no one cares about the K, reactant was 3, and I'm just going to solve for X. So 3 to the what will get me 3. How many 3's do I need to get out a 3? Yeah, just 1, right? So my x value is a 1. 3 to the 1 equals 3. So x equals 3. And that means that the order is... Just kidding. x equals 3, Christina. x equals 3. x equals 1, right? The order is... 1. And when the order is 1, we call that first order. And you can have different orders for different reactants in your reaction. So for the 1 reactant, that one was second order. And then for this one, the other uh, order was first order. So for different reactants, you can have different orders. That's totally fine. And that's it, right? They asked for what's the order, so here we are. We found them out. Thank you so much for viewing the video. What'd you think? I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you in more questions. Um, I'll talk to you soon, okay? Thank you so much for being part of the community, being part of the channel, and supporting us, all right? We really hope you're doing well in your classes, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.